السلام علیکم دوستو امید ہے آپ خیریت سے ہوں گے میرا نام محمد بلال ہے اور آج کی ریئیکشن میں میرے ساتھ ہے راہل فیصل آج کی ویڈیو میں ہم جان پائیں گے کہ کرونا کے پہلے حالات کیسے تھے بنگلہ دیش کے آج کی ویڈیو میں ہمارے ساتھ شیئر کر رہی ہے ایک سولو گرل جو کہ انڈیا سے ہے انہوں نے ٹریول کیا ہے کرونا سے پہلے اور دیکھیں گے کہ کرونا سے پہلے حالات کیسے تھے ہمارے ساتھ رہیے گا اینڈ تک اور اس ویڈیو کو لائک اینڈ سبسکرائب ضرور کریں شکریہ travel to Bangladesh in the very hot and humid month of May. Why? Well, let's just say the flights were cheaper. I decided to spend 10 days in the country and to be honest, I did not get enough of it. Because really, Bangladesh is beautiful. <laughs> okay, now come along. I'll show you what a little bit of my trip looked like. <laughs> Let's start off with the capital city of Dhaka. What a mad, vibrant, intimidating city. Fun fact, it's actually the most crowded city in the world. This is Old Dhaka. Let's call it a distant cousin of Chandni Chowk in Old Delhi. Iftar is the evening meal with which Muslims end their fast during Ramadan. This is the Iftar market. Hence, so much food. Would you just look at the size of that jalebi? Anyway, I also wanted to share some pictures with you from that day. Almost forgot to show you the manne. As of 9th April 2020, 1 USD equals almost 85 Bangladeshi taka. Moving on, this is also a little bit of what our taka can look like. This is a really old, incomplete Mughal monument called the Lal Bagh Fort. Please note that Dhaka is the worst traffic you will ever see. Hence, it is recommended that you use Uber Moto to go around. My Airbnb host also took me around a couple of places, but I forgot to record them. So we'll have to make do with just this. I'm not a big fan of cities, so one day was enough in Dhaka. In the evening, I took an overnight bus to Silet. Mm. Oh, Silet made me so happy. It is a beautiful city in northeastern Bangladesh, famous for its tea plantations. It was a part of colonial Assam for about 70 years, till 1947. Now, it is only an hour and a half away from the Meghalayan border in India. Silet is also Dhaka called Silet. the City of Saints, for it was the great Saint Hazrat Shah Jalal who propagated Islam in this area in the 14th century. The International Airport of Dhaka is also named after him. Also, I had never seen such spotty, fluffy pigeons before. Punjabi. Punjabi. <laughs> بیٹھی And then it was time to try Bangladeshi pan. I did try it, but I didn't like it. It's like your tongue is on fire or something. It had been raining all day, but then it rained properly that night. I had my dinner, I went back to the hotel, and then the next morning, I took off in an auto rickshaw when it wouldn't stop raining. With Ajaz Bhaiya to Ratagong Swamp Forest. We also stopped in between to take a couple of pictures together. As you can see, Ajaz Bhaiya is quite shy. Ratagong Swamp Forest is a freshwater swamp forest located in Gowain River. 
It is the only swamp forest located in Bangladesh and one of the few freshwater swamp forests in the entire world. As you can see, it was pretty cloudy that day. So, why I was in the But when I put the drone out in the air, look at that. Oh, nice. This swamp forest is about 3,000 acres huge. 3,000 3, acre acres. Huge. Okay. And it's also called the Sundarbans of Silet. As you can see, I was trying to understand his Bangla through Google Translate. And yeah, at that time I smoked. Now I don't. So don't be encouraged by me. Okay? Oh, no, no. no. This is a good thing. It's very Google Translator and it's just the one who speaks in his language. Turns out, his sister lived in the swamp forest. In a village. And we were gonna go meet her. Yeah. I'm very happy that I said something. Oh, wow. And slowly but surely, I had so many kids around me. <laughs> and although we couldn't communicate, <laughs> there was only one thing that I could do. <laughs> the very kind people at uh, Soilta Bari arranged food for me. I didn't even ask. It's their Ramzan, but they still were courteous enough to just get me food in this sort of. Ramzan, you know, it was very sweet. This is chawal. This is uh, rice, cucumber, bananas, chickpeas, a pear, chilies, and a boiled egg. Oh, what a beautiful family. I had such a beautiful two hours with them. It was so sweet. Ajaz Bhaiya then took me to his wife's mother's place also. But it was quite dark then and it was another village so I couldn't really record anything but that happened, yeah. The next day, I was off to my next destination. I was actually supposed to take a direct train to this destination but then I missed it. So I reached the station, the Silla railway station at uh, 8.35 and my train was to leave at 8.40. I just rushed in just to get into the train but then somebody misled me saying that it would leave in another 40 minutes. So I missed it because it left at 8.40 and now I'm taking a bus to Brahman Bariya. I kind of slept through this journey so I don't have too many clips from Silet to Brahman Bariya but it was pretty much green, all of it. And then thankfully I also got the train from Brahman Bariya to Chittagong. This is what a normal sleeper train in Bangladesh looks like. I couldn't record anything before because there were about five males in this coach and you know they you kind of get at ease when they leave of course i want to show that bangladesh is really safe to travel in as a woman and i did not experience anything weird or bad but i do wish sometimes while traveling alone that i shouldn't have to feel unsafe because i'm a woman i wish it was a more equal world anyhow my visit in Chittagong only lasted for a couple of hours. I only stayed there a night. And this is my couch surfing host's daughter. I left the next morning. Kaptai Lake. So Kaptai Lake is not just the largest lake in Bangladesh, but it is also man-made. Back in 1964, 220 square kilometers of Rangamati was made to submerge in water for a hydroelectric project leaving around 40 to 50,000 tribal chakmas in the area 
absolutely homeless. A lot of them migrated to parts of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, while a few became refugees, giving birth to the Chittagong Hill Tracts conflict. The conflict continued for 20 years until 1997, and Chakmas, who were once a majority in the region, are left to being a minority in the country. Fun fact, I genuinely did not know that we were not supposed to fly drones because this was actually a military area. Just randomly I'm just to see through as to how it looks like and everything. And I found a monastery. About fifty years. Fifty years. Yeah. Ah, a pleasant morning, but a very hot one. As it is, I was staying there illegally, so I thought I might as well stay there for a bit. A local guy saw me struggling with the language at the provision store right outside my hotel. He understood Hindi, and he decided to give me a lift. I honestly did not do much that day. Nice, I was quite content. Very nice. Outstanding. He took I met Rosalie. Somebody who has been following me for seven, eight months met me here where I am today. And her name is Rosalie. She is one of the sweetest girls I've known in my life. Hey, friends, we have seen a video of solo girl, Indian girl, who was in Bangladesh. She has been on a tour and has been on a place. We have seen a lot of things in the city, like the Rang Matai, which is a very beautiful area. There is a road on the beach, and you can see a lot of things on the green. Besides, there is another place where there is a lot of things. हाइड्रो प्लांट्स लगे हैं जहाँ पे जो लाइट्स हैं इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस होती है इसके अलावा ट्रेन की जर्नी हमने देखी बस देखी बहुत अच्छी वीडियो थी आप क्या कहेंगे इसके बारे में मैं यही कहूँगा कि बांग्लादेश जो ड्रोन शॉट इसने दिखाए हैं वो ग्रीन जगह की तो बहुत ही ज़्यादा आउटस्टैंडिंग थे और ये करोना से पहले जो थी वो गई थी विजिट करने के लिए बांग्लादेश और इसकी हमें रिसेंटली वीडियो पे भी रिएक्शन किया है जो मतलब करोना के बाद है तो उसमें भी बहुत ज़्यादा खुश है और इस वीडियो में भी बहुत ज़्यादा खुश नज़र आ रही है तो बांग्लादेश में बहुत ज़्यादा जगह है विजिट करने के लिए आपको हिल स्टेशन भी देखने को मिलते हैं आपको सिटीज़ भी देखने को मिलती है बहुत अच्छी जगह देखने को मिलती है तो जो लोग विजिट करना चाहते हैं बांग्लादेश को तो वहाँ पर उसको हर चीज देखने को मिल सकती है अगर कोई देखना चाहता है कि मैंने जाना है हिल स्टेशन पे तो वहाँ पर वो भी मिल सकता है आपको अगर जाना है कहीं मतलब बेहतरीन फाइव स्टार होटल देखने हैं तो आप डाका गुलशन भी जा सकते हैं डाका में जो सबसे बेहतरीन जगह है सबसे एक्सपेंसिव जगह है बाप डाका की तो ओवरऑल वीडियो बहुत ही ज्यादा अच्छी थी हमने वीडियो को बहुत ही ज्यादा इंजॉय किया अगर आपको हमारा रिएक्शन पसंद आया हो तो हमारे चैनल को जरूर लाइक करें शेयर करें सब्सक्राइब लाजमी करें थैंक यू